welcome everyone myself nagraj bhar msc biochemistry first semester school of life science jsscher mysore erwin chargraf chargraf was an american biochemist writer bukovinian jew who emigrated to the us during the nazi era and professor of biochemistry at columbia university medical school he wrote a well reviewed autobiography heraclitian fire sketches from a life before nature here he proposed an rule called chargaff rule these rules are applicable these rules are applicable on the double stranded dna in both circular and linear form dna contains four types of deoxyribonucleotides having adenine guanine cytosine and thymine in dna structure adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine so there are two hydrogen bond present between adenine and thymine and three hydrogen bond present between guanine and cytosine chargaff's rules state that in the dna of any species and any organisms the amount of guanine should be equal to the amount of cytosine and the amount of adenine should be equal to the amount of thymine further a further a 1 is to 1 st stoichiometric ratio of purine and pyrimidine bases that is a plus g equals t plus c i mean adenine plus guanine equals thymine plus cytosine should exist this pattern is found in both strands of the dna key conclusion from erwin chargaff's work are now known as chargaff rule the first and best known achievement was to show that in natural dna the number of guanine units equal to the number of cytosine units and the number of adenine units equal to the number of thymine units in human dna for example the four bases are present in these percentages adenine equals 30.9 percentage and thymine equals 29.4 percentage similarly the guanine equals 19.9 percentage and cytosine present 19.8 percent this is strongly hinted towards the base pair makeup of the dna although chargaff did not explicitly sorry explicitly state this connection himself for this research chargaff is credited with disproving the tetranucleotide hypothesis phobos levens widely accepted hypothesis that dna was composed of a large number of repeats of gact most researchers as sorry most research researchers had previously assumed that deviations from equimolar base ratios guanine equals adenine equals cytosine equals thymine we were due to experimental error but chargaff documented that the variation was real with cytosine plus guanine typically being slightly less abundant he did his experiments with the newly developed paper chromatography and ultraviolet spectrophotometer chargaff met francis crick and james d watson at cambridge in 1952 and despite not getting along with them personally he explained his findings to them chargaff's research would later help the watson and crick laboratory team to deduce the double helix helical structure of dna the second of chargaff rule is that the composition of d 
DNA varies from one species to another. In particular, in the relative amount of A, G, T and C bases, such evidence of molecular diversity which had been pre presumed absent from DNA made DNA a more credible, credible candidate for the genetic material than protein. Here we can see adenine equals thymine, guanine equals cytosine. The DNA base pairs. As short form, first parity rule. The first rule holds that a double standard DNA molecule globally has percentage base pair equality. Uh, a percentage equals T percentage and G percentage equals C percentage. The rigorous validation of the rule constitutes the base of Watson Crick pairs in the DNA double helix model. Second parity rule. The second rule holds that both A percentage approximately T percentage and G percentage is approximate to C percentage are valid for each of the two DNA strands. This describes only a global feature of the base composition in a single DNA strand. Thank you.